During the 1950s, Young America discovered blue jeans, and the industry exploded in the United States. This fashion soon spread to other cultures, and denim became more than just a piece of fabric. It grew into a social statement. Jeans have a long history, dating back to 1567, with the introduction of the root word for jeans, which is genoese, or genis, which describes the tough twill trousers worn by merchant sailors from the Italian coastal city of Genoa. Serge de Nîmes was a twill cloth made of wool and silk and became popular prior to the 17th century. It was named for its city of origin, Nîmes, in France. During the 17th century, the manufacturing of this fabric spread to England and other countries and simply became known as denim. Starting in the 1700s, 100% cotton denim became the staple workwear of U.S. farm and industry workers. Today, it retains the title of America's favorite work pant. The denim jean, as we know it today, originated in 1873 when Levi Strauss and Jacob Davis patented their riveted work pant that kept the pockets and seams from bursting when doing heavy work. During the 1950s, denim went from being solely a work and utility fabric to capturing the interests of the fashion-conscious public. Companies like Levi Strauss and & Company and H. D. Lee quickly responded. It's also at this time that American and European teenagers embraced denim jeans as the Elvis and James Dean look. When indigo dyes are used, it gives the denim fabric a unique ability to fade in color after repeated laundering. Indigo dye originated as a vegetable dye from the Indigofera tinctoria plant in India and Africa thousands of years ago. An indigo dyed robe was found during an excavation in Egypt and is estimated to have been made around 2500 BC. In the Americas during the same time, a different type of indigo plant, Indigofera suffractiosa or Indigofera erecta were used to make Natal indigo dyes. It was an important dye for the Mayan people who used it to paint their sacrifices prior to scarification, as well as dyeing the royal's clothing. In the cooler climates of the world, like Europe, indigo was also produced from the Isatis tinctoria, or woad plant, and Polygonum tinctorum, also known as dyer's knotweed. In 1878, German chemist Adolf von Bayer invented the first synthetic indigo dye. In fact, indigo was the first synthetic dye stuff. By 1914, almost 95% of the natural indigo trade had disappeared. Today, synthetic indigo dye stuff accounts for essentially 100% of all denim products. During the 1980s, there was a designer gene craze with many styling variants. This phase ended in the 1990s when Levi Strauss and Company created the Back to Basics slogan. This began the revival of the ring-spun denim. But by the mid-90s, the designer jean craze had resurfaced with many companies producing their own brands. Today, advances in finishing techniques, especially garment processes and fabric technology, have created a high-tech denim jeans market.